What's up guys, DZ here, and I traveled four hours to go to locals. No, uh, basically what happened was I traveled three hours to show up more than an hour early to the Chicago Regional, because um, I knew there was a 300 person cap, but I didn't realize that it would fill up so fast. I think when we were like 20 minutes away, someone posted on Facebook that there were 244 people already signed up. So I thought we were going to be cutting it close, and we we did cut it close, and when we got there... Uh, we were kind of on the bubble of the 300 mark. They weren't really sure the exact number at that point. Um, but I ended up being like 307th in line. So that was super stupid. Um, they accepted 301 people eventually. But I don't know. It was really depressing because I was like in the door of the shop. Because um, there was like a line around the building. I was like in the door. And then they were like, yeah, uh, that's the cutoff. And I was like, fuck. So anyway, we were already in Chicago. Uh, and they suggested we go to a locals called Pastimes. Uh, I've experienced Pastimes before because they sponsored the uh, TCG Player 10K event. So, like, I kind of know the staff at Pastimes. Uh, but anyway, we went there. A lot of other people went there. It was almost a 40-person locals, which for a lot of places is, like, really big. But uh, the competition was pretty high because it was just, like, the spillover from the locals. Um, I ended up going 4-1. My only loss was to Matt Kalenda. Um, and in the last take of this video, I like talked a really long time about what happened in that match. But I'll just briefly say that Matt Kalenda is a really nice person. We had a really great game. I should have been able to tie the match, but uh, a brief misplay on my part. Uh, well, it was more like a forgetfulness on both of our parts caused me to lose. Um Basically, like, I was, I, I set up a chain where I had, like, Shadow Fusion, El Shadow Fusion, and then I, like, summoned the wrong monster off the El Shadow Fusion, and then someone reminded me, uh, like, I summoned the monster I wanted to end with off of El Shadow Fusion, and then, like, a spectator reminded me that I have to resolve the Shadow Fusion, and I had no other Shadow cards, so I had to use the Annoyed Tillos I summoned to summon, like, a Shek. I just, like, that just, like, caused me the game. But we, like, talked about it, uh, for a really long time after the match and just kind of like discuss what would have happened and i definitely would have would have been able to tie it but like that's just my mistake so won't be doing that again anyway uh we played three skamata uh two beasts i decided to play 11 dolls um in the late game really want as many as possible and i really don't like two dragon but <coughs> sorry I don't like 2-Dragon, but I knew that the regionals would be, like, all rogue. Um, and if not even all rogue, it would be all, like, BA. And you really want you really want Dragon against BA, um, as well as, like, Satellers and kind of Cosmo, depending on what build they're playing. Um, a lot of the regional top 8 deck profiles, the people are only playing, like, 2 or 3 Necros throughout the day, so I just knew that I wanted Dragon for the edge. Um, and it's not that bad against Necros, because, like, Against Necroz, your opening hand, like, decides the match so much. So it's like, playing another dragon isn't going to help you win or lose. Because your, your Necroz are just so aggressive. So you're just winning or losing that game based on your opening hand anyway. So, like, I never found in testing that the dragon, the second dragon, like, screwed up my Necroz matchup. Um, and you can use it to pop your own core if necessary. Anyway... Uh, I played five Perform Ages, uh, two Juggler, two Clown, and one Hat Tricker. As much as I love Hat Tricker, I think it's my favorite one because you can just like special summon it with no setup. Um, you just never want to open it, so I just played the one. Um, and through testing, it came up twice. Well, it came up once where I really needed the second Hat Tricker, but I was able to win anyway. But uh, other than that one time... There was like 18 hours of testing. Uh, other than that time, though, I never needed the second one, so I decided to cut it, and I never missed it. Um, with Damage Juggler, a lot of the time, I think I did this twice, where on my turn, I would just enter the battle phase and discard it, either to just get a hat tricker, or like one time, I just discarded it just to get a light in the grave for BLS, and then BLS main phase 2 to banish his only BA monster. Um, and then I played through Math Man, because Math Man's really good. Uh, I main one Denko for the same reason I played the dragon. Like, I knew Rogue would be big. I was going to main two, but I don't know. I just felt like the one was fine. Um, and I think I only dropped it once. So, and then BLS. 
uh, boss monster. And then I still played two max C because I figured uh, even if I wouldn't be playing against Necroz, uh, everyone that was like good would be playing either BA or Noden variants, and max C is good against like both of those things, so I just wanted to main it. Uh, I played three fusion. Three L fusion, if I can grab them. Um, and then at the regional, I had like a uh, polymerization ready. But when I went to the locals, I just switched it out for this because I just wanted to try it. Polymerization or just whatever seventh uh, fusion card you play is really good because it ups your percentages, um, I think, by 5% in your opening of opening a fusion card. And you really need to open a fusion card to win. Uh, so the advantages of this one is that it sets up the water shuttle fusion. But the advantages of polymerization is that, like, okay, so like, I would never want to play this. I sided this out every game I played against, like, a back row heavy deck because you could just, like... Um, activate it and they could just like get rid of your monster and then you're like out of fusion card and a monster card so like polymerization was better in that sense but the idea was the problem with polymerization was that you had to like send a fusion card off a construct so that if construct died you at least like had a fusion card because you couldn't add the polymerization back it's so, like this is a shadow card so you could like add it back but that never came up and i just wish i'd played polymerization so that's what i'll be playing when i go forward but i i do think the seventh fusion card is like necessary so i really like that um, and then, unsurprisingly, I played three instant fusion because Noden. Uh, I don't know. I lost a play set of ultras, so I had to like pick them up, and that's why I don't have the ultra rare. And there was only one person at the locals that had them, or like had extras, and they like decided they weren't extras and they needed them, so like fuck them. But anyway, uh, I think three and two Noden is good for like any deck, but uh, in this deck you can uh, use like the third one for Winda, but like that. Never came up. I don't think I dropped... I think I only dropped two instant fusion, like, one game. Um, for the one-ofs, the standard ones for Regeki and Foolish. And then uh, I also decided to play Book because it's, like, my favorite card in the game. And then Mind Control. Um, Dale Bolito was playing Mind Control and Econ, but I think Mind Control is just fine. Um, because you can just, like, steal Unicorn... I stole a Valk in testing and then just like tributed Shadow cards, which is pretty cool. Um, you make the Water Shadow Fusion with them. Against one guy, I like stole some Dark Monster made window and just like locked him out. So that was cool. My control was definitely really good. I decided I got I sided out against BA every time, obviously. Mully Traps were two Break the Skill and Core. Um, so I didn't play Mistake, not even in the side deck, because. I don't really like Mistake. Um, I think it's easier to floodgate Shadows out with the Water Shadow Fusion because it's like searchable. It's like Mistake if you're playing like two copies. Um, and especially in the main deck because I didn't think I'd be playing a lot of Necroz. So I didn't want just like dead cards against other decks. But against Necroz, if you don't open the Mistake, you just kind of like lose. So I just rather play like better cards. Um, I'm trying to think what other trap people were playing. If people were playing like Torrential, which is fine, but like I didn't really like, like Torrential. I just liked the, like these were the Mind Control and uh, Book of Moon were like the cards people were playing instead of trap cards. But I just wanted like all combo cards in my hands. So, like Breakthrough Skill is the only card I chose because it outs Diamond. And like if Diamond didn't exist, I really don't even think I would play Breakthrough because like you just want like combo cards all the time. Um, token. The extra deck. And I was doing this douchey uh, New York style extra deck, but um, three construct. Uh, three or two Noyatilis. I went into two lots of times. I think you need two, and I didn't even play against a lot of Necros at the locals. It's just like I just like it's like another one that's like as big as Construct, so that's cool. Played uh two. Whoops, don't know where my Shekinaga is. Whatever. Um, I played two Winda. I was gonna cut it for a rank four, but I'm really glad I didn't. I went into two quite a bit. <coughs> Played one check. Uh, I don't think I ever needed the second one. Yeah, not that I can remember. Um, I definitely went into the second one of this more often than I would have gone into the second check. So, I don't know. That's that. Um, and then I played just two Noden. Um, you don't really need three. Like, you definitely don't. Like, I know people think that you'll, like, draw all three instant fusions somehow. But, like, and, like I mentioned in this deck, you can bring out a window. With the instant fusion, that won't really accomplish anything. I never did that, but like, you're never gonna draw all three instant fusions in like the course of a game. Like that would just be insane. 
played one Castell, uh, one Exiton, one Dweller, um, one Trapeze Magician, definitely the MVP, and one Diamond Crab King. Uh, these were the ranked fours that I settled on. They're the ones that came up in testing over and over and over again. Um, and I went into all these like multiple times. Like, I don't think there's ever a card in my extra deck. I was worried about not playing Masquerade, but like, I'll shut off Fusion can just play around Valk anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, through Retaliate Agency, uh, I didn't really get to play against decks that were like, this was good against. Um, I avoided like Shadow Mirror matches, so that was cool. Uh, so I didn't side that in, but it was there. Thunder King, um, because I took out, I would have, if I thought there were going to be more Necros at the event, I would have played the Thunder King instead of the Dragon, but I didn't, so I put it in the side real quick. Denko, second one. Beast for the Mirror, like the third Beast is pretty helpful, because if you're playing against the Mirror match and they have three Beasts and you don't, it's really tough. Uh, three MST for Floodgates and BA, kind of. Uh, Dark Holes, this was like my out to Diamond. I was also good against the mirror match and um, BA because they side like the fiends and shit. Uh, I was siding deck lockdown uh, for Necroz. This card's really good, but never came up. And then two Iron Wall for Ritual Beast because fuck Ritual Beast. Um, and I guess Infernoids too, but that deck's kind of a joke. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys know this deck profile. Be going to a regional in two weeks. And I really hope that I don't get kicked out. Well, that one has like a 700 person cap, so I think I'll be fine. But I will see you guys later. Goodbye.